Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make this frozen yogurt, like this one. Um, so yeah, because th this is a really requested tutorial so far, so yeah. Um, so the materials you're going to need, you're going to need um, a color for the swirl, um, like the purple part. Um, in my case, that would be blue. And then a color for the cup, which I normally think white or black looks best. Um, but I use black and white um, all the time, so um, you can try different colors and see which one you like. Um, but it's just personal preference. So you're going to need, the black ball is going to need to be bigger than the uh, blue, or this color for the swirl. And then you're going to need a blade to cut with, which I'm just using a regular razor blade. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And um, you're going to cut a little bit off of the black for the little rim and you will need to roll it out like roll it out into a ball and then roll it out into a log and you want to make it pretty thin not too thick not too thin like medium so I'll show you what that's going to look like so um, now you're going to make the cup so just set the little rim to the side and roll the black into a ball and then you can kind of make it into like a cylinder by rolling it, in, rolling it into a log and then like smushing it down. And I'm going to scoot this up. So you want to make it about this um, tall and then just like take out, like just mess with it so you get the right shape. So, yeah, so once you have that done, you can go ahead and get the part that you did for the rim um, and roll it out until it's long and um, skinny. So I normally do mine about this thick. Um, so now you're just going to turn it over and you're going to wrap it around the bottom. If you can, if you know what I mean, like wrap it around the bottom. It's easier and it helps you get a straight line. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna make sure it's like on there so that it won't come off when you pick it up or, yeah. So now you're gonna cut the side and that's why you need a blade so that you can get a perfect cut and then all you do is like smooth it out so that you can't see the line. Um, so I'm gonna smooth this out. So it should look like this so far. And then that's when you turn it over and set it to the side. And then um, take your blue clay and roll it into a log. And then put it in, like cut it in half. And then take one part of it and then, and then roll it into a log like the other one. And you want this one to be pretty skinny because you'll see what I mean when, um, why you want it to be skinny. Um, so you're going to roll both of those into um, like uh, you roll both of those into skinny logs. Okay so once you have both of them rolled into a log so you're going to um, they should be skinny. Um, so you're just going to like join them together and this is what I mean. Um, so you're going to join them together like this. until they're like all the way like that. So once you have that done, you're going to go ahead and um, like, like fold it in half so that um, you have double the amount. And this is why it needs to be skinny so that when you put it onto the thing it's not too thick. Um, so then cut the ends so that they're all even. Um, and then once you have that done, you're going to go ahead and twist it in um, a pattern like this. And this is actually a different way of doing it. Um, this is my new design on how I do it, like my new way of doing it. Um, but you just twist it and twist it and twist it. And then you roll it out kind of just a little bit to where you can still see the 
where it was rolled up. And then take your black cup, and you're going to go ahead, let me see if I can get this. And this is going to be kind of hard. So there we go. You're going to go ahead and put it on there. And wrap it all the way around till you get to the top. So just keep wrapping it, and if it gets thin, you're gonna, and if it breaks, you you can just like join it back and keep going. Which this is gonna break in a minute, so do that, and then cut off the thin part and just keep going. And if you need to, you can roll it out again. Just make sure you can still see where you rolled it, and then just keep rolling it until you reach the top and then take your blade and cut it and like pull it at the same time so that you form like and you can just like swirl it up so it looks like this so that if you can tell there is a difference between these two um so um I think I like the new way better because I think it just looks like way better. So yeah, you have a great day and thank you for watching. See you later. Um, so request any tutorials that you want. Um, so yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye bye.